Hey what's up guys, it's Brenda here and welcome to my Tunes of uh, video even though it's my Tunes of first and also it's my question it's the answer part of the question and answer video um, I know it's Saturday today and I did say it upload it last night but I got home from work and realised I can't actually read the questions because I've got, like, I don't have access to the internet to read them and the only place I can ha have access to them is my phone and obviously like I can't record off my phone reading at the same time because iPhones don't do that um, which is quite stupid actually um, so yeah, I'm doing it just now, I'm actually work on my break so I might have to go um, or it might be jump cuts or something Nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. Um, first question is from Yeah Lazar. Hey, I like a few questions for you. Have you ever had an operation? What type of car have you got? And what is your favourite make of clothes? Never have had an operation. I broke my wrist twice. I broke it skateboarding and mountain biking. Um, I drive a one litre Toyota Yaris. It's blue. Um, if you want to, guys want to see a video on that, I'll do a video on my car. Let me know. Um, favourite make of clothes? Don't have a favourite make of clothes, but the shops I do shop in for clothes are stuff like River Island, Top Man, New Look, uh, Primark, um, and yeah, places like that. Uh, next one's from iPro Nathan. If you were to make a hostile mob in Minecraft, what would you make it? Um, what would you call it? And how tall would it be? And what would it look like? I'd make myself. It would be two blocks tall. It could fly, and it would like uh, drop basketballs on your head, and the basketballs explode, or something like bombs or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> something like that. Something creative, I guess. Um, Harrison B ninety six. What made you purchase Minecraft in the first place and start recording it to entertain us? Um, I purchased it because my friends Jake and Jed had it and I thought it was pretty cool so I bought it so I could just sort of build stuff I guess and um, what made me start recording it uh, Kevin was stuck with something I can't remember what it was but um, he was stuck with something so I made a tutorial I uploaded it and it got a good response so I decided to upload more videos on Minecraft I guess um, what would the answer be to every what would the answer be to everything in the universe if it wasn't 42 hopefully you know what I'm talking about from Justin Avich. I know what you're talking about, meaning life is 42 from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The answer, what would the, what would the answer be? The answer would be fun, I guess. Um, have fun in life and live long and prosper. Can't do it. <laughs> Next question, Cowby for Ball. Why do you keep driving on the wrong side of the road? It freaks me out. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god even. Um, in Scotland, uh, in the UK even, we drive on the left hand side of the road as opposed to the right hand side of the road. I don't know why the government has it that way, um, so that's why it looks like I'm driving on the wrong side of the road because we'd actually drive on the left instead of the right. Um, so yeah, next one is from Stormkid1091. How much did your gaming setup cost? Is it worth YouTubing? Um, my gaming setup, if you mean that, you, I'm guessing you mean my like my gaming PC, Xbox, TV, monitor, and my um, 2 Ah, oh, Sorry, bless me. Um, Blackmagic Intensity Pro. Blackmagic Intensity Pro was £180. Um, my gaming PC was 300 including the monitor, Xbox was £180 and TV was £150, That's, you can add that up yourself if you want. Um, is it worth YouTubing? Uh, like, I didn't buy it to like make money off it, I bought it because for using, for making videos, for not just for YouTube, for other stuff as well and yeah, I guess it is worth it if you look at it in that sense. Next one from Riley, what car do you drive? I've already answered that dude so hopefully um, that's okay. Next one is from the comment 833. I can't think of anything to ask you, but you should leave a, co a question for us to answer in the Q and A comments. Okay, I will do. I will ask you guys a question at the end. Um, next one from oh Riley two four six five. Um, what is your favourite family moment in your whole life? Um, that would have to be two thousand and one when I went on holiday with my grand, my um, two sisters, and my mum and dad were still together, and we went on holiday for the whole six weeks of summer holiday. We went to Australia to see relatives, we went to New Zealand, Tasmania, Dubai, Bali, Los Angeles, New York and Paris as well and that was just the best time of my life ever. Um, thoroughly enjoyed that. Tubby Ginger Pat, if you could meet one YouTuber and hang out with them for the day, who would it be and why would you pick them or would you rather do a series with them and get the set amount of subscribers? Um, the one YouTuber I would like to hang out and meet for a day, not including Dave because Dave would be the answer but I'm going to meet Dave anyway so um, it's not him because obviously I'm going to see him anyway at some point. Um, the one person I'd pick, I would pick Syndicate not for the reason, I would pick a Syndicate to meet, I wouldn't do a series with him to get him that subscribers, I would pick, pick him to meet because I know he enjoys mountain biking and so do I and I reckon we could just like go on mountain biking and talk about gaming all day and that would be a pretty damn good day. Um, next one is from Mr Skyline Fudge is uh, if you could hang out with anyone in the world who, if you could be anywhere in the world, where, where, when did you have the best day of your life and what was it and why did you start YouTube? Um, if you could hang out with anyone in the world who, 
I would pick Ricky Rubio. Um, if you don't know who he is, he is an NBA player. He plays for the Minnesota Timberwolves. He's from El Maz de Spain. And he's just like the all round amazing guy. I would pick him. Um, if he could be anywhere in the world, where? I would say Perth. And not the Perth in Scotland. The Perth in Australia. Um, just because it's a really nice place. And I've got like relatives there. And I think it's pretty cool to live there. And when did you have the best day of your life? And when was it? I've not had the best day of my life, but as I said um, a couple of questions ago, the best time of my life was holiday in 2001. And why did you start YouTube? I start YouTube just to entertain you guys and two sex. There we go. Um, just to entertain you guys and obviously just for the fun of it, because I enjoyed it. It was something to do at the time, and I guess it's just stuck. Um, Pro text vid HD. What made you start YouTube? What motivated you to what? Oh, what? What motivated you, and what do you enjoy, and why are you so de dedicated to 600 plus people? That's to buy you. Um, as I said, I started YouTube for something to do, a pastime, I guess. Uh, what motivates me is basically you guys. That's why I'm so dedicated to all years. I think I'm at 620 subs just now, and that's why, like, I'm motivated. You guys motivate me in watching the videos and giving the feedback that you do. Um, next one is MC Imati. He asks, "What is that one nightmare um, you've had before um, that scared the absolute shit out of you?" I can't remember the last nightmare I had. I've not had one in a while. Um, couple of years actually and I, honestly for the life of me I can't remember what it is sorry but if I do remember I will like answer it because I, I know you're on Twitter and I will tweet you at it if I can remember it and um, Harry the zombie nerd is uh, what got you into YouTube not just oh I saw a video and thought that was cool what got you interested what did you uh, what did you do to get yourself where you are now what was your motivation for making videos because you must have known at some point starting out you're not gonna be noticed overnight but 600 people and um, Hmm, what got me into YouTube? What got me into YouTube, I'd say, is watching videos from CNRs and Kevin. I know you said, like, not thought, saw a video, but, like, I thought that was pretty damn epic. Like, the feedback and the response they got, and, like, the people that enjoyed them talking over gameplay, and, like, I enjoyed talking, I guess. Um, and I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. I want to do that. So I decided to start making videos, um, because, like, the community, I guess, like, the feedback you get from people and that support that people give you is pretty damn cool so I thought you know might as well do that as for motivation I've just said that motivation is you guys um, leaving comments leaving likes leaving responses and stuff like that um, especially you because um, I don't know if you guys know but ha Harry the zombie nerd actually downloaded my world and he like made a lighthouse on it and it's pretty cool so I think I'm actually gonna build that on let's play um, um, so yeah that's what mo that's what motivates me and that's basically why I started uh, the Dudico F D E R P S um, if you had one day left to live, how and you could do anything, go anywhere, be anyone, what would you do? Who would you go? Um, and who would you be for the last day in your life ever? Um, similar to a question from Fleming11 is if you knew today was your last day on earth, how would you spend it and why? Um, I would actually go see everyone that I talk to on Twitter or YouTube or something like that. I would go see uh, FNF, I would go see Dave. I would go see Wash Mistro, um, I'd go see, obviously, Stacey when Dave was there. I'd also go see Louise as well, and I'm pretty sure I'd spend the last couple of hours with Louise at hers. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'd do. Um, from the James9999, if I died, would you come to my funeral? James, yes, I would come to your funeral if you died, if as long as I got an invite and knew when it was, and if I get time off work in college. Um, the Diplo Donut. I tried to make a comment, but I didn't because I couldn't think of a comment to win the prize for making a comment. What the? Okay, um, who is your favourite commentator on YouTube from FKNX? Raleigh. Favourite YouTuber commenter? Favourite YouTube commentator? Uh, it would have to be Kevin because like, I watch all of his videos. He's like the only YouTuber that I do actually watch all the videos for. Um, also, what is the best thing you have made on Minecraft? And what is your favourite game? By the way, sorry for spamming the comments, just had a few questions. Best thing I made in Minecraft would have to be the Thunderbirds that I built with Dave and FNF. And the favourite game, um, favourite game of all time would have to be Spyro You the Dragon. Because that was just like the first game I ever played. And it was like mind-blowingly amazing for, I think like a seven-year-old I think I was at the time. So yeah, that was an amazing game. Um, XTRI Skills, how did you meet Dave? What gave you the idea to play Minecraft together and how did you come up with the name? Um, how to meet Dave? I met Dave, Dave on NTY Guns' server back in May last year. He came on basically, and this is how we had the idea of to play Minecraft together. I said, Dave, or oh, he's new to Minecraft, Dave, you know, zombie pigman hunting. 
because I knew he had 400 subs, I had 100 at the time, and I knew he uploaded Zombies, so I said, do you want to go with Zombie Pigman Hunting? We recorded it, it was a fail, um, and we always planned to do Minecraft together once he got a gaming PC, so that's why we started Two Guys One Craft, which is named, we got Two Guys One Craft from, well, I don't know, I'm pretty sure you guys know what Two Girls One Cup is, we got the name from that, we just changed the girls to guys and cut the craft, I guess, um, so yeah, that's that. Louise, you drive very fast, fast, just saying, that's not really a question, Louise. Um, Jordan, if an ostrich is an orangutan and an orangutan is a gorilla, okay, then what is a sea lion? Jordan, you're fucked up. Um, but in all seriousness, where do you see yourself in five years' time? Five years' time, I should be graduated, I should have a PE teaching degree, so I should be teaching PE, I should have my own place, and I should be settled down, I guess, hopefully. Um, next question is from... OZN Gamer, how did you come up with Prentai? Well, the Prentai basically at school, um, I used to get called Prentai, and Prentai was taken on YouTube at the time, so I put the, or it suggested the in front of it, so I just made the, <laughs> the Prentai, I guess. Um, Mr. Dimps, uh, Dempsey, if you could bang anyone, who would you bang? I'm taking you, I get, I'm taking, I guess, you mean who would I have sex with if I could have sex with anyone? I would say Cheryl Cole or Cheryl Lloyd. Basically, if I can't get Cheryl, uh, Cheryl Cole, Cheryl Lloyd. Because she's so similar. Um, the Creeper UK, if you could change your YouTube name to anything, uh, what would you choose? Please be creative if you pick mine, not just like Prentai, make it cool and epic. If I could change my YouTube name, I would have www.youtube.com forward slash Alex. Because I think it'd be pretty cool to have my first name as my YouTube basically channel. Like Ken Burton's got Ken. Um, so I think I'd have Alex, hopefully that's creative enough for you. Um, from Adam Keir, how did it all start and what did you, what made you create a YouTube account and most importantly how did you become so popular on YouTube? I wouldn't say I'm popular on YouTube, um, basically hard work, dedication and putting time and effort in, it's what's important here um, and why did I start, I've already explained why I start so hopefully that's okay for you. Next one's from Silent Fire, just a short one, is YouTube worth it, like time, effort and money? Definitely worth the time and effort and money, um, Like all the, I'm guessing you mean the money you put into it, it's definitely worth it. Um, you know, meeting new friends, meeting new people, the interaction, they become like family. Um, I, Dave's ba Dave and Stacey are basically like my second brother and sister. Um, or, I could say mum and dad, essentially. <laughs> Just, well, I'd say Stacey's more like my mum, Dave's more like my brother. Um, so yeah. Next one is from uh, Deborah 3 How long have you been making YouTube videos? For? You, making, how long, how long have you been make videos for the video? I think you mean how long have been making videos for? If it is that, um, I've been making videos for almost a year now. It's been 11 months or something, so quite a long time. Um, the Gamer Guys 1234, do you really love being a YouTuber? Um, what you got started into? Also, I want to ask who's inspired you to start a YouTube channel? I got inspired, as I said before, by Kevin and by CNNers to uh, start a channel and make videos. And yeah, I like uploading videos to YouTube. It's good fun and it's a good pastime as well. Um, hopefully that's okay with you guys. Uh, okay with the answer. Um, Super Dragon. 408, I wanted to know many things uh, either you made or I wanted to know how many things uh, either you made or everyone's made on Charlie's server when you had it. A lot of tons, like a lot of stuff was made. Me and uh, I Choose Bacon made the Empire State Building on version 1. I made it again myself on version 2. Rasta made a massive airship, a roller coaster, I made a castle, Pierre made Spongebob. Like lots of stuff was made, like countless amount of things. Um, question from LZ101. What is your best childhood gaming memory? What game did you always used to play? I said this before, yeah, Spyro Year of the Dragon was the best game ever. It's a game I always used to play and I loved it. Um, question uh, from Me Mega Drunken Dante. How did you meet Dave and why did you want to make a server and upload it to YouTube? I met Dave, as I said, through Into Why Guns' server. Um, and why did I make a server? Me and Pierre made a server because Charlie was shutting his down. So we decided to make one for everyone to come play on. Um, Zombie Mixer 51 can you you and Dave make a server together for everyone? I actually have my own 24 hour slot server I'll have the IP address in the description for you guys to go check out um, and you can come on because it's not whitelisted So yeah, um, and Dave plays on it as well. So yeah next one is from That hostile what is your favorite food and are you in a relationship favorite food would be like pasta with bacon and peppers and onions and stuff like that it's basically because I'm an athlete, I need a lot of energy, and that's my favourite food, I guess. Um, and am I in a relationship? My relationship status is kind of, like complicated at the moment. Um, I'm not going to go into detail because that's a bit too personal. But yeah, it's complicated, essentially. Um, 
Light Kid 360, what was your very first video game you ever played? I've already said this before. Spyro, Year of the Dragon, best game ever in the world. And it's good to have a drink, two secs. My mouth is getting really dry. Um, next one's from Sammy XX59. How did you start YouTube? Did someone inspire you? How did you start up your YouTube and how you publish yourself? And how did you come up with your name? I've already said my name. I've already been instead of being inspired by Kevin and seen others. Um, how did I get myself published so well? I don't know. I just like interacting. Um, uh, I guess posting videos on Twitter, but they hardly ever get retweeted. I don't know. Just. I guess just hard work and dedication, I suppose. Um, El Quaza, can you play a musical instrument or do you have a good vocal range? If so, um, or if you did and got signed, would you continue to upload gaming videos and forget about YouTube altogether? I cannot play a musical instrument and I can't sing that well, um, but if I did have a good vocal range and got signed, um, yes, I would continue to upload gaming videos um, and not forget about YouTube, but obviously I wouldn't have a Vivo. If I got signed, so one thing I would not do, I would not have like Alpha Prentice Vivo, like it was just Vivo, Vivo, Vivo. Uh, I wouldn't have a Vivo. I would stick with my channel and I'd want the videos, the music videos on that channel. Um, essentially. Up yours Primark, what made you start YouTube? I've explained this already, dude, so hopefully your question got answered. Um, wrongful right, society has officially failed and there are no regulations everywhere to keep balance. Would you be one of those people who would stray away and start a new civilization where character, character and individual element is still alive? Or would you be one of the f people who would watch everything fall to ashes? I would stray away and s with new civilization and be like an individual and have characterism and... But I would still like watch the people fail because I think it would be quite funny. Um, last one, no, second last one, sorry. Um, gaming for Steph. Is there that one that got away? Who was she? Also, what age were you when you lost your virginity and did it mean something? Wow, that is quite a good question, actually. Um, is there that one that got, get, got away, and who was she? Yes, there was that one that got, got away. Her name was Amy. Um, she was the one I lost my virginity to. I was 15, a week before my 16th, um, and she meant, like, the world to me. Um, what happened? Well, I myself uh, don't know what happened. Basically, one day she decided to up and leave and go stay with her dad over an air. And I've not spoken to her in trying to say four, almost four and a half years. Well, four years and like four months. I got no idea what happened, but yeah, she's that one that got away. I guess that's a really good question. Um, and the last one's from the Mr. Challenge. If you could meet or do anything with any YouTuber, and if you could meet and do anything with anyone in general, who would you pick? I want one YouTuber and one person of choice. I've already said this, I would meet Syndicate and go mountain biking with them if I could and that one person I would pick would be Ricky Rubio um, and I'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one basketball game against him because that would be pretty cool. Um, so hopefully this answers your question guys. The question I have, for, I have for you that someone asked me to ask would be why do you guys watch my video and what is your favourite content from me? Please leave in the comments your response um, and hopefully you enjoyed the video guys. If you have, please make sure you leave a like because this has taken a lot of time and effort for me to do and take a break, I guess, <laughs> from work. and. Yeah, as I said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I've been the Prentai, and peace out, guys.